now use this as a hook to switch to the more regenerative uh, applications of 3D printing. So here, we what we did was uh, we, we 3D printed uh, these uh, ceramic pieces that uh, using the method that I just explained previously in, in partnership with Lithos. Um, and we actually 3D printed these ceramics uh, using a, a beta TCP material, which is known for uh, its use in, in regenerative applications for, for bone uh, tissue engineering. So what we did here was we 3D printed these different micro cages in the form of these Lego-like modular scaffolds. The idea here was that we could print this material that is uh, pretty rigid, but it could be stacked, just like you would stack different Lego parts, right? And this allows for a variety of different combinations of uh, sizes and, and geometries and shapes that essentially go as far as imagination uh, can take you. Uh, those are pretty small, but still large enough that they can be stacked manually in the operating room. And the fact that they are hollow 